Returning to the Trailblazers POV. <gasps> Firefly spotted. As you might have heard, I also go by another name. Stellaron Hunter, Sam. Firefly. We figured this out quite some time ago, but thank you for now being honest with us. Ooh, here are the options. Are you all right? You lied to me? And are you Firefly's soul? I don't like these two options. I'm going to ask Firefly if she is all right. I'm fine. Sorry, I hope I haven't scared you. I know you have many questions. <gasps> Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? When I was caught by that meme? Yes, we cried, dude. In that instant before it killed me? So it did kill her. I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. So, following the clues in the Silver script, Wolf I came spotted? up with some theories about the meme. That's why I instructed Silverwolf to issue invitations. Drawing everyone to the Dreams Hotel. Yeah, she is a Stellaron hunter, so she is friends with Silverwolf. They do, like, work together. They are co-workers. I intended to call upon death before you arrived. To solve the riddle using more direct means. And then invite you to join. However, contrary to my wishes, I couldn't defy the script. And I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. It is how you see now. Mm. I was. I don't like this. By the bladed wings of death, the heavy pressure of concentrated memoria miasma exploded in my mind, as if it was actually reality. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. So how the heck does that work? I was still alive. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful dream. Beneath the dreamscape of Panacone lies another, more chaotic, more primal memory zone. Its name? Land of the Exiles. Land of the Exiles. She says that's where she wants to take us to today. And so the true Panacone. Dreamscape, hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, I, I could not reveal my own identity. So I could only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. And after all my attempts proved futile, it wasn't until not long ago when a crimson blade of light shattered the high wall of the dream causing you all to fall far into the abyssal depths of the dreamscape that i was able to awaken you and your companions one by one so she woke us all up hold on we got we gotta re rewind real quick so we all fell far into the abyssal depths of the dreamscape so we're like Okay, oh, yeah. if this is Inception, right? And there's levels of the dream. So we're one level further down. We're one level below. Okay. And uh, she's awakening us one by one. Hopefully she woke us up first. Duh. And that's it. That is all that's happened so far. Firefly, please. Okay, thank you for the catch up. I'm starting to understand. I actually am. I know it's tough to believe all this without reservations. I just want to say, you are very close to the final answer. Just one more thing needs to be done. And then I can prove it to you. Now, let's leave this place. Please close your eyes. Folks, you heard the girl. Everybody close your eyes. Well, when am I supposed to open my eyes? Three... Two. One. Don't be afraid. The one who has come to greet us has arrived. That sounds like a demon. That sounds like a creature. In that quiet darkness, 
Memories ripple into existence. I never knew you could do this. Oh my gosh, it's the blade image. It's the blade screenshot. Do you have a driver's license? Blade, blade can driving. Dude, this is how you know Blade is a liar. This man is a liar. He's wearing a seatbelt. If he really felt the way that he felt, he wouldn't wear a seatbelt. I do. Local man is literally too angry to die. It takes a strong man to be a single mother. Her in her Stellaron Hunter's outfit, like, she looks pretty cool. Before I left, the Destiny Slave told me that this journey would bring unforgettable rewards. Even though the script he gave me only had a few lines, I couldn't ignore them. Because one of the lines said, I'll experience death three times in the land of the dreams. What? Three times? This can't be serious, right? The first time was a painful death when I was stabbed by the Blade of Dormancy, which led to all subsequent events. The script will always come true. But in a way that will only be revealed when that page is turned. Firefly is not going to die, right? So now I've understood the meaning of my second death. And I am prepared to face it. If all goes well, my efforts will provide crucial support for you. So what, she's got one more to go? Even after that? Only by achieving victory in this battle can we secure a future for Penacone. And only then, my third and final death won't come true in the most terrible form. The most terrible form? Does that mean... The true... World, the reality? The true death. Where everyone in Panacone loses themselves completely in the eternal sweet dream of the Order. Well, we can't leave. We must do everything we can to prevent that. Oh, so that's not just you, Firefly. That's all of us. Have you made up your mind, Firefly? Are you committed to this? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Oh my gosh. Thank you again for your assistance for the Astral Express. May we meet again in reality. Look at the trailblazer. Look at her hand. She is to feel it some type of way about this. Yeah. Farewell, everyone. May your trailblazing expedition never end. Whoa. Whoa! I Firefly? Of a scorched earth. Everyone, are you ready? Here we go. Sprouted from the earth. <sighs> it bloomed in the morning sun. And to me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like fireflies to a flame. Oh my god! The orchestral version. Of one heart. <gasps> that was so good. After today, Japella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not too distant future, you'll receive an invitation. I like. I'm so shook. That's your next stop. Land of the dreams. Anaconi. That was so good. That was crazy. I hope you find whatever you seek there. Be it answers or salvation. <laughs> you mean my three deaths? Silverwolf told me about it. It's such a shame that it's not part of my script. Well, I want to live. I'm never afraid of death. The opposite of death is eternal life, and that's... That's something I'll never desire. 
Wow. People die. And I am no exception. Death is like a script. A fate that cannot be defied. But that's exactly why we have to choose where we want to rest forever. Do you exist just to perish? Isn't that literally what you want, Blade? Are you not the same, Blade? That's what I said. The end you desire is not one dictated by others. If I were to die now, I would only be a weapon. I believe I should die as a human. Though its definition escapes me, isn't this the answer that ordinary people look for their whole lives? A name that can be carved onto their tombstone. A tombstone that belongs to me once bore the inscription Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Shout out Glamoth, Bessette. Then it changed to Stellaron Hunter. But one day, Wait, what did it change to? Wait, what did it change to? It will bear the name Firefly. <gasps> and all the brilliance she showed at the end of her life. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! <laughs> no! Firefly! Firefly, no! Is there anything else the crew is concerned about? I'm concerned about Firefly. I really, like, I really kind of don't know what happened to her. She made a big point about her sacrifice, what she was willing to do to accomplish her goals, but she transformed and then, I don't know, may, did I forget? Or... Why? Because it was an amazing cutscene where she transformed. They played that orchestral version of If I Can Stop One Heart for Breaking. It was really, really cool. And then I don't... I, I, I'm not sure I recall what happened afterwards. 